Okay, so you've made your Virginia weather map, or you have decided that I'd really like to learn how to make my own weather map and collect my own data. And a good site to go to for weather data is the National Weather Service at weather.gov. And to find a specific uh, weather data, if you look in the top left corner, you'll see a place for local forecast by city, state, or zip. So if we wanted to look for data for Charlottesville, Virginia, notice that comes up, and if I click go, I've got all the data I need right here. It tells me the current conditions at the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport, and it gives me the latitude and longitude in decimal degrees, and it gives me a lot of different uh, weather data. So the easiest way to make weather data we found is to use Notepad or a simple text writer on your computer. So I don't know what it is on a Macintosh but for, or on an Apple computer. So let's search for Notepad. And make sure you don't choose the Notepad++. Open up Notepad. You'll see you've got yourself a very simple text reader. And this is really how a, a CSV or comma separated value file is made. So let's go ahead and collect data for a station. The latitude for the station. The longitude for the station. And the temperature. We'll call it temp. Hit return. Notice the comma separated values. The first column is going to be station. Latitude, comma, longitude, comma, temperature. Notice no spaces after the commas. And so now we minimize this, and now we're back at our screen here for Charlottesville. And I'm going to highlight this information. I'm going to right click and copy it. I'm going to go back to Notepad. I'm going to right click and paste that information. Now I need to clean it up a little bit just because of all the text. So I'm going to remove. The elevation data. I'm also going to remove the decimal or the degrees west because we don't need the text in this file for the values. I'm going to put negative in front of 78.46 because it's a west uh, longitude. I'm going to delete back here and I'm going to put a comma between the latitude and longitude. And I'm going to remove lat I'm going to come right up to the name of my weather station, and I'm going to put a comma. So notice we have station, Charlottesville Airport, latitude 38.14, longitude negative 78.46. I'm going to put a comma there, and I'm going to go find my temperature. And the temperature is 67 degrees, so I'm going to type in 67. Let's find one more record, or two more records. So I'm going to go back here. And up here I'm going to search for Richmond, Virginia. And notice it tells me that my information at the airport is 61 degrees. I'm going to copy the important information here. I'm going to paste this into my second row. Then I'm going to start to remove the information I don't need anymore. And again, get rid of anything that might make it believe that the numbers are text. Remember that we are west longitude, so it needs to be a negative value. If it was east longitude, it would be a positive value. Our latitude doesn't change because it's northern latitude. If it was southern latitude, we would want to put a negative sign there. But for now, we keep it positive. And the temperature was 61. And let's add one more piece of information for good measure. And let's go with, let's see, I wonder what it is in the mountains of Virginia. So let's go with Warm Springs, Virginia. So there it is right here. We'll go to that, and it tells me at, uh, I believe it's a radio station here, but notice it's 56 degrees there. So we're getting a number of different temperatures in Virginia right now. We'll paste that information in here. And uh, since I know it's hot springs, we're just going to get rid of that text, put in a comma, delete back, and just get in my latitude and my longitude. Put a comma there. Remember, don't forget the negative. And delete back. And if I recall, it was 56 degrees. And believe it or not, this is a, the creation of a very simple text file. Now, when we're done, let's go to File. Save as. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to name that VA 
demo. And I'll click save. And now I want to see if the, what this looks like in Excel just to make sure it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Excel program. It's very important to bring it up in Excel because if it doesn't come in correctly, you'll know. So we'll go to File, Open, and I'm going to choose to Browse. I'm going to browse to my desktop. I'm going to find VA Demo. Now notice I can't see VA, de VA Demo. You're probably wondering where's VA Demo. The key thing to open up a text file in Excel is you have to change the all Excel files here to all files. And then notice VA Demo pops up. We're going to choose to open it. And then it's going to say, is this a delimited file? And we're going to say, yes, it is, because we've put commas in there. We're going to click Next, and at this point, I'll ask you, what did you delimit your data with? And it's commas, so we need to uncheck Tab. We need to check Comma. Notice what happens when we put in Comma. Um, the data comes in, and wow, we've got some data issues there in our CSV, because notice Richmond International Airport came in here. So we'll click Finished. And at that point, we do have an error. What it looks like is that there was a comma placed between Richmond and Richmond Airport. The easiest thing to do is just to fix it in here. So we'll just call this Richmond Airport. And then I'm going to right-click on this cell, and I'm going to choose to delete it. And I'm going to just choose to shift my cells to the left and click OK, and I have a correct data set here. At this point, I can save this as a CSV, and I'm going to change that to be CSV, and click Save, and it will give you all sorts of warnings when you're trying to close it, and just ignore them, and now we have a data set. And at that point, we can go to ArcMap. So we could go to our map. I can click on modify my map. And I can choose to add my layer from a file. And I can choose that Virginia demo CSV file or the text file, either one. Choose open and import the layer. And notice our weather points are on here, and there's our temperature data right there. So that's just the start for creating a CSV file. Um, after you make the CSV file, you can return to your steps and create a weather map. Um, thanks for joining this tutorial.